Well, all successful people are good at juggling. They juggle meetings, schedules, projects, you know, keeping the balls in the air. As Rick Wells shows us new this evening, there are some students at OSU Medical School who have learned real juggling. These medical students will be doctors someday and juggling may help them get there. It's probably the most brain specific exercise I can think of. Dr. Craig Stevens is a professor of pharmacology at OSU Medical School in Tulsa and he bills himself as an evangelist for juggling. What you're saying is everyone should juggle. Everyone should juggle. I agree 100%. <laughs> Most of these folks are first year med students. Katie Cycle says she thinks Dr. Stevens might be right. It does create alertness on some level. After a juggling session, they're more ready to study, able to focus. Exactly. Focusing's always been my problem. Juggling might be just what the doctor ordered. One ball juggling's where you start. One hand to the next hand, very good. And back again. So you've already completed the first lesson, and you're ready for two ball juggling. Ta -da. He says the most important thing is the throw, not the catch. Wow. Look at this, Lauren France and Justin Mitchell have progressed to help juggling, I think it's called. Yeah, I love it. Um, I started last week. She says it's a great stress reliever and gives her brain a break. Of course, it's therapeutic and scientific, as evidenced by the lab coat. As you get advanced juggling, you can really get technical, mathematical, and scientific. But mostly it's just fun. Who knows? When they've mastered juggling, getting a couple of dozen patients through the door on time every day ought to be a snap. Rick Wells, the News on 6. As long as I don't look up in the operating room and they're doing that. <laughs> the T-Town Jugglers, the OSU Medical School Juggling Club, they meet every Tuesday evening from 6.30 to 8.30 in Founders Hall near the bookstore. Yeah, maybe not in the operating room. <laughs> the That's not a 